Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Sense and thanks for the support on the last video I got like uh, over 140 views and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Let's keep the momentum going and talking about the momentum, let's talk about another fragrance that I really, really, really love and I'll tell you why. The, the fragrance in question is the most wanted perfume. So in this line, you have, you know, Wanted by Night, The Most Wanted, and those two get way too much attention. Like, this gets talked about too, but not as much as those two. Um, I've smelled all three of them, by the way. I mean, because I, it's kind of obvious I own this. But uh, the others I've sm smelled at, like, department stores, like Sephora, and, like, duty-free stuff. So I know how this smell, right? So let's not waste any time and let's talk about this fragrance. Um, first of all, there is barely any negative about negative that I can talk about this fragrance. Maybe the only negative that I can think about is that uh, it's versatility. You can't use it in the summer because it's super dense. It's super. It's not super sweet, but it is sweet. It's dense. It's designed for like fall and winter, right? So, yeah. Let's talk. First of all, let's talk about the performance. Holy crap! This thing performs. Yeah, this thing is like a marathon, man. This guy keeps going and going and going. This sits on my skin for like nine hours, easy. And I and I've been even testing it out in like summers in like super humid uh environment and still bro this thing performs like for like seven hours it's crazy i have my dry down i sp sprayed this like 30 minutes ago just so that i could talk about it so let me just show you the presentation so it's like this black metal like just like the wanted by uh the most wanted but the most wanted is completely blacked out and this the bottom half is like uh wanted by night because of the gradient but it doesn't have the gray uh, gun metal kind of thing it's got black gun metal and it has these uh, bullet casings i think it's like a gun it's kind of corny and cheesy but it's not as bad as like the paco Rabanne presentations the cap is you know it's it's hefty it's uh still uh plastic but um it's, it's good enough um let's just let's let me just show you the sprayer uh, i don't know if the camera caught that but um uh, it sprays a decent amount it's a very it's a very decent atomizer um as I, as i've mentioned before this thing huge insane performance right nine hours I, I can guarantee you that I bought this fragrance like six months ago. So I did test it in the harsh, cold uh, winters of Boston. So I know how it performs. So nine hours on my skin and three, three and a half to four hours of projection. No joke. And I have like pretty dry skin, right? So f for like three, four hours, I was blown away. It's one of my better performing fragrances that I have in my collection. It's no joke, right? Um, let's talk about the fragrance. How does it smell? So it's a it's a lot. It's it's very focused on the vanilla, right? It has a bit of that boozy accord, and um, when you when you first spray it, right, you kind of get that ginger kind of touch. It's not like super strong on the ginger. It's not spicy. It doesn't like burn your nose or anything but it has that ginger it's like vanilla and ginger combo but with an ambery undertone and boozy undertone and as it as it dries down it gets a bit it's a get it gets a lot woodier and a lot uh, a lot of a lot of focus on the vanilla but as you spray it you get that ginger and vanilla combo like bang it hits you in the face um but when it comes to the smell right oh Ah, I have fallen head over heels. As soon as I sp sprayed it for the first time, I fell in love. Uh, it's no joke. I know falling in love with inanimate objects is kind of weird, but I don't give a fuck. This thing smells amazing. This is beautiful. It's so good. I'm going to make a video on, on the best sweet fragrances. And spoilers, this is at the top. Like, this is 
this is one of the top fragrances when it comes to sweetness. I have a few fragrances though, Lemal Le Parfum, Lemal Elixir and others. I'm not going to mention, I'm going to give the list away. All right. So stay tuned for that. Um, how much did I pay for it? Um, I paid about $105 or so. I got it for a really good discount. So I was like, I'm going to get it. I don't care. I don't think so. I'll get it for a price better than this. And I was very interested in this fragrance. I just pulled the trigger, right? Um, com I would, it's kind of expensive, but, um, when you look at designer fragrances and their prices now, I would say that's a really good value. Like designer fragrance are like $120, $200. Lou de Chanel, the EDP, if you check prices online, is closer to $200. What the fuck is going on? That completely blows my mind. That's, that's criminal. I know Chanel fragrances aren't discounted, but come on, man. You can't charge $200 for a Blue de Chanel. That's bribery. Yeah, that's a scam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna say it right here. That's not that's not good price. That's horrible value proposition. Um yeah. Let's talk about where you can wear this. I wouldn't wear this at like parties and stuff. Like you can, of course you can. That's your that's up to you, right? But I feel that it's so much more upscale. I would wear it at like dinners, kind of like formal events you know weddings things like that i wouldn't wear it for clubbing and partying and stuff like that it's way too upscale for that i it's like yeah it's way above those situations you have fragrances for that that already exist i wouldn't wear this honestly um it's so much more classier it's so nice it's boozy vanilla sweet woodsy bit of that spice hit from the ginger this is a a perfect fragrance and other than the fact that it's not versatile but no fragrances are built to be perfect as i've mentioned before um so yeah i would say this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 this is like no freaking questions about that you can fight me down in the comments this is the best fragrance i have smelled this year and um Maybe I'll smell better fragrances, but uh, for now, this is fucking awesome. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And that's all that I have to talk about this fragrance. Um, leave any comments, any suggestions. And if you have any questions about this, leave them down. I'll answer them. If you disagree, agree, I don't care. I will un I will talk to you. We'll we can converse about that in the comments down below and uh, like subscribe more reviews to come and especially a clone fragrance that is so freaking hyped right now on tiktok that i have to talk about it and that that review is coming very very soon so stay stay updated and to be updated for that hit the subscribe button and hit that bell i know i sound like a corny youtuber but you do not want to miss that review because it's more from my perspective an average fragrance user i'm not some professional or anything so yeah thank you guys for watching uh love you guys and uh if you watch till this till the end till now if you're still watching comment your emails your contact info i'm gonna send you a love letter i love you guys that much and thank you for the support good night and goodbye